That is the Toyota Alford GF 3.5L from Fujimi, part of their Car Next series, and it is today's What's in the Box. Hey guys, welcome into a What's in the Box, and today we are taking a look at the Toyota Alford GF 3.5L van from Fujimi. This is part of their Car Next series. This is kit number six, and this is also another one of their no glue and no paint needed kits. Who doesn't want to build a van, right? Okay, there's probably a lot of people that just raise their hand. But anyways, we're going to take a look at it because it's, uh, whatever, it's a van. Hey, you know, can't get enough of people movers. So just like some of the previous kits, the, the, uh, the Toyota Land Cruiser, the Hustler, Suzuki Hustler, the Mazda Flare, and some other, this is another one that does not require any glue or paint. Like you can see, it's a new, no glue, no paint kit, but you can build it out of the box without any glue or any paint and have a somewhat reasonable, decent looking model kit. They did a couple of versions of this one, or variations of this one, uh, molded in a white and a black. I think there's a couple other ones, but I don't recall exactly what they are. I went with the white. Again, I like that blank canvas. At least if I decide to paint it something different. So with that, let's jump in the box and see what's inside of it. And taking a look at the body to get us started. And you can see it's missing some pieces. It's a multi-piece body. The whole front end is missing. The rear bumper's missing. There's even the roof is missing. So as you can see there on the roof, it has sunroof cutouts, but unfortunately there's not, they're not actually gonna be um, opened up. They're just gonna be representations of a sunroof. Let's get started looking at the rest of the body pieces for this kit. This three you have front nose, the hood, you have the fenders, you have the bumper, the rear bumper, excuse me, and the rocker panels there. And the next parts tree that contains more body pieces. Now, on this tree, you're only going to use the roof there, the rear gate here, and this rear uh, spoiler piece. The hood and the bumper go to the other van that they did, so those are not going to be used for this kit. Moving over on, moving on to the parts molded in black. We'll start with the chassis plate there. More parts here. There's going to be some interior bits. The steering wheel on this part tree is not going to be used for this kit. The steering wheel that is attached to this set of trees will be the one that is used in this kit. All right, moving along to the interior bucket parts tree. I have the interior bucket there, and in typical Fujimi fashion, they love to mold those seat bottoms to the interior bucket. This kit's no different. There's a little bit of detail on the interior door panels and then all the seats there. Turn our attention out to the chrome bits. Here's the main chrome tree. And again Fujimi putting their uh, putting their information right there on the muffler. Great place for it. Smaller one which contains mirror faces, some chrome trim and the door handles. Now we'll look at all the clear and transparent pieces. First, the front windshield and front window piece. The red, the red transparent, or clear red transparent for the tail light pieces. There are clear, clear pieces for headlights and those lights that need to be clear that are done in a transparent smoke. These are going to be no name sidewall, blank sidewall tires. And I forgot to put the, show these with the other body parts. The uh, part of the mirror, exterior, rearview mirrors, and license plate backing. And finally, the decals and stickers. Up first, the sheet that contains all the window trim stickers. Sticker sheet there, as you can see. The decal sheet. You do get a little bit of real decals to use. And there is the decal sheet. 
So I think that is going to wrap it up for the this look at the Toyota Alford GF3.5 L kit from Fujimi, a part of their Car Next series, the no glue and paint kit. So on that note, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.